still tingling and thrilled with the excitement of opening the letter and finding that I've been given this award. I couldn't have anybody that could give me more pleasure that should award it than John because we've been friends for so many years and our careers perhaps began much the same time. So he is very much part of my life and knows as much about me as anyone. Now how many of us as gardeners stop to think when we first garden that any of the plants we grow in our gardens grow wild anywhere? But it's essential really to know it because their character has evolved in the wild. It is a question of being close to something and actually looking. I don't, know, I don't know how to describe it, but there is a difference between really taking a plant in and using your brain to see what you're looking at rather than just seeing it as a blur. I think it's important that we have um, publicly owned gardens that can afford to show people plants. I was tremendously influenced, especially by my husband and his research into the homes of garden plants. In other words, finding plants that would be adapted. I wanted to turn this area, which is full of problems, too hot, too dry, too shady, too wet, by using plants that he discovered through his research um, would thrive here. It took over 50 years to make this garden and I was handling them myself every day. You learn to look at them and you're often astonished um, by what you see. I try to plant in such a way that there are comings and goings um, to create a scene throughout the year, to create a pattern. I suppose I'm trying to, I'm trying to create pictures. So with a wide range of plants from spring to summer to autumn, um, there's always something there, not necessarily a, a mass of color, but there are shapes. It's shapes and, and textures that matter to me. We are surrounded by an enormous range of contrasting shapes, structures. Um, I don't have things in straight rows. I love the line to fall and lead your eye. So, and it was the same with my Chelsea exhibits. Um, they were based on this asymmetrical line. It is the contrast between colour and foliage that for me makes the patterns, makes the pictures. I love it in, in the autumn, the winter, the spring, when there are shapes and clust shapes and textures that draw your eye just with a single bit of colour perhaps here or there, whether it's autumn colour or whether it's uh, flowers or whether it's a shrub. I'm especially sorry not to be here today, but um, age is taking its toll, I'm afraid, and I haven't the energy. But I'm delighted to um, introduce my granddaughter, Julia, who is taking my place in the garden and carrying it on um, with David and all the rest of my staff here. So hopefully it will carry on. But um, yes, it's, uh, I only wish I could be here and talk to you all. Thank you so much.